Hello and welcome to another video. Now Terraria is full of accessories and in today's video we are going to be looking at one of the most complicated accessories in the game. No I mean seriously this crafting recipe actually hurts my brain. I mean just look at it like it barely fits on the page and that's why I decided to make this video which is the ankh shield in 100 seconds. So, since this thing is so complicated, let's break it down to its core components. First up, the Cobalt Shield. The Cobalt Shield can be obtained from the dungeon by opening a gold chest. Funnily enough, a shield statue actually generated right next to my chest. Which, I thought was pretty funny. I decided to pick it up. The next major component requires 20 obsidian. So, yeah, of course, it's the obsidian skull. For this, you'll need to find some lava and pour some water on it. Then you can either bomb it, or if you have a good enough pickaxe, you mine the obsidian. When you've got 20, you'll need to go over to a furnace or hell forge, craft up your obsidian skull, and then get yourself a tinker table and combine it with the cobalt shield from the dungeon. This grants you the first major part of the ankh shield, the obsidian shield. Now let's get on to the other part. And oh boy. The other major part is the Ankh Charm, which consists of 10 other crafting items, all of which are extremely rare drops from random enemies in your world. Like, I'm sorry, but if you want me to get a pocket mirror without either shimmering a blindfold or getting a Medusa statue, how am I supposed to kill hundreds of Medusas? Like, they're so rare! <laughs> but anyway, most of the items are just dropped from random enemies, like, you'll just casually encounter them. I usually obtain around 40% of the ingredients for just playing the game. I'm talking like Corruptor's Eater of Souls coming. And don't worry, if you get a duplicate, you can shimmer it into the other variant. So you can combine those two together to get the, you know, thing. Best strategy i found to get the Ankh Shield is to use statues as much as possible. It's actually possible with shimmer and statues to get like most of the Ankh Shield before hard mode. The Ankh Shield itself isn't actually that good, I mean it provides 4 defense and immunity to knockback, but the debuff is eh, not really that good. And also, I, I wanted to make this point for a while, but I never had an opportunity to. I think that the hand warmer should be a part of the Ankh Shield, because it provides immunity to cold debuff. No one agrees with me, but I think it'd be cool. Anyway, Without further ado, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and check out some more of my videos. Also, uh, here's a funny video of a frog. <laughs>